Welcome back to and this guide. In today's video, we are going to show you how to trim audio on VLC Media Player. Let's begin. VLC Media Player is primarily a media player and does not have a dedicated audio editing features like trimming. But of course, we are here to explore the VLC's recording feature to effectively trim audio files by recording specific segments, all right? Now, I'm going to load a specific video file, and if you haven't already, we have a separate video on how to add subtitles on VLC Media Player that you might want to check on our channel. So, please do so. Be my guest, all right? And while at it, you might want to click on the subscribe button as well so you get notifications whenever we upload new contents. But going back to the video, all right, go to the view section here. Make sure that the advanced controls are on the uh, taskbar here. Because if you don't, you're not going to be able to use the uh, recording feature here on VLC, all right? Click on that and you will see you will kind of have an access to uh, advanced features. Now, this is all I'm going to do is scrub the file or the video that you wanted to trim. For example, I'm going to play it through here this button here I'm gonna play it through and of course if you wanted to record this in a specific section maybe like around 30 uh, seconds or 20 seconds right here I'm gonna hit the uh, red button here to record all right there you go once it's being recorded all right now just select the video that you wanted to trim so you started from 20 seconds earlier heading to the uh let's say um 30 35 or 40 minutes let's go to the 40 and click on the 40 click on this button right here you see that now after that you already trimmed the video but before doing so, make sure that we have saved the trim video to the output folder. Now click on the tools and head over to the preferences. Matter of fact, it says um, control plus P. The shortcut. There you go. Now go to the and then go to the input codex. All right, and you see you have the option to record directory or file name. All you're going to do is browse this section so that all the files will be recorded in the folder that you have selected and click on save. All right, and that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next one.